Ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe I'm saying this, but we're going to Colorado. Get it. Let's fucking go! It's a very special day and we got a package to unbox. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm so excited, dude. I love, like, I, I love vacationing. Man. Yeah. No. It's not, and even though it's not a vacation because we're still technically working. It's know, a vacation. It's a vacation. It's a, it's, a vacation. it's a vacation. Anything out of LA is a vacation. All right, guys, so we got the package here and inside we got some glasses, a hand warmer. Okay, this is obviously like a snow jacket. And then we got some Oxygen, dude, this is sick. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of uh, O'Hare Air from the Lorax. O'Hare Purified Air, freshness to go. There's an embroidered Paramount logo in the back. Oh, is there? Uh, yeah, we are right here in the back. Yo, oh, that plus. is sick, dude. That's so badass. Bro, I love embroidery. Woo. Ooh, okay, yeah. okay. Like covers the sides. Yeah. They're like goggles. Basically. They're sunglass goggles. Dude. You look like Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> we got the jacket, we got the glasses, we got our oxygen, we got our head warmer. Man, I am so ready for this weekend. Shout out to Paramount, the lodge. Stay tuned for more content, guys. Bang! Dude, this is crazy, guys. Welcome to the Soup's Far From Home episode. Josh and I are gonna be going to Colorado. This is so crazy, dude. I'm hyped. <laughs> um, I've never been to Colorado. I've never seen snow like that in my life. I've seen snow, but not like crazy snow, which is what we're about to witness. Shout out Paramount, man. Paramount is literally like paying for everything, putting us up. And they're doing this because this is called the Paramount Plus Lodge Experience. They're gonna give us upcoming looks at all of their upcoming content coming to Paramount Plus. There's gonna be a teaser for something Grease related, one of the greatest musicals ever. Yeah, let's see what Paramount Plus has to offer, man. You guys know your boy made his little feature film debut and at midnight on Paramount Plus right now. Let's see what else is coming to the platform. All right, we just made it to the airport. We're flying out, guys. We're here, LAX. Flight shouldn't be too crazy. My go-to movie I'm watching on this flight, everything everywhere all at once. Shout out, just dominated the Oscars, completely swept. That's gonna be my plane watch. Josh, are you gonna watch a movie on the plane? I'm sleeping, my boy. <laughs> I can't sleep on a plane. That's like something I've never been able to do. Hey, but if we go out, we go out in style. Facts. Hey. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean go out? <laughs> what do you mean go out? <laughs> We're surviving this, bro. Yeah, man. Oh, that's small. Hey, hop in there. What the fuck? Uh, I don't know, it's Shadow, but shout out this guy. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> do you All have right. a YouTube channel? I do, but. Hey, plug yourself right now. Shit, my YouTube channel is Miko Benz, M I C L B A N D S. Fuck with me. Yeah. Hey, do your thing, bro. Do your thing. What's yours? Soups, S U P E S on YouTube. S U P E S. Yeah. All right, I'm following you. Much love. You know how sometimes we've seen certain superheroes that are located in like New York? Like sometimes we see them out of their general area. Like for Far From Home, we saw Peter like traveling the world. Batman Ninja takes place in like China. Like that was so sick. I want to see more superhero stories where we see superheroes set in environments that we don't usually see them. Like imagine Batman in Mexico. Imagine Batman in Miami. Imagine Batman in Colorado. Wouldn't that be dope? He was at my birthday party. Batman? Yeah. Get back! Everyone back! No, no, no one can know that you broke that pinata. I'm gonna be skiing, Josh is gonna be snowboarding, and we're gonna be trying that out for the first time. Um, obviously, Paramount has like a ton of different activities for us to do as well, so we'll take you guys with us on um, that journey. Interrupting the video. Any unintended baggage. I think it said like and subscribe. Yeah, it said like and subscribe, and let's get to 300K over here on YouTube. Thank you, TSA lady. Guys, we're literally about to take flight, and James Gunn has officially announced on Twitter that he is set to direct Superman Legacy. This isn't a shocker. Yeah, him directing Superman Legacy is kind of something that we all expected, but now it's official, man. He came out with like a, a whole like Twitter thread. This, this is the project. We need all forces to converge on Superman Legacy. If this movie flops, the DCU 
is done. You know, this there is so much writing on this movie. This is going to be the, the movie that really kickstarts the James Gunn and Peter Safran era of DC. I think we're going to get something special, and I hope we do. The weather is so bad, and it's like it's not clear enough for the pilot to land right now. So we're kind of just circling it. We're gonna like try to land on it one more time. Yeah, dude, we might be fucking stranded, boys. It is not gonna clear up. We're up. Probably gonna be stuck. This is not clear. Two hours later. Flight 381, request permission for landing. We're lost. Made it to Colorado. We made it, guys. <laughs> this is so sick. What's up, guys? So we made it to uh, Steamboat, Colorado. We are in our room, our little suite. We got a kitchen. We got a kitchen. We got a living room, a living room. We got an outdoor space. Should have been Look a at all this more space. So we much. We do robots in here. So many activities. What's up, guys? We're picking up the vlog again. Today is the big day. Josh and I are about to go skiing and snowboarding for the very first time. And you guys can see it is snowing outside. This morning, Josh and I, we went to go get a early morning workout. I tried going for a run. And like five minutes in, guys, I was like, T, T. Come on, I'm burning. My lungs are burning. Use the force, loop. Me and the man, Matt, we, we went uh, snowboarding and skiing for a bit. Very tiring. We didn't fall once. No, we didn't fall once, not at all. <laughs> Dude, we got showed up by like, kids today. No, we did. I'm not gonna lie to you, a lot of kids here are very talented when it comes to uh, skiing. skiing and like snowboarding, bro. Dude, that I saw like five-year-olds. <laughs> no, literally, bro. Dude, that I saw. Bro, there was this like little girl just going down the, the mountain, bro. Five-year-olds, guys, like being saucy on the slopes. <laughs> We're so gassed, too. Like, it's so tiring. I wouldn't call it a bad experience. I would call it an experience experience. Like we finally experienced the experience. Yeah, no, 100%. You know like first time it's bad, second time it's like you get the hang of it. So we're going up those stairs, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> my, knee, my knee's about to give out, bro. <laughs> this altitude, I'm not used to it. It's hard to breathe. It is. It really is. Dude, I got violated by ice. Literally guys, ice. <laughs> ice fell from the top of the roof <laughs> and like, right. Dude, I got sauce. All, all that ice up there, literally just. A whole chunk of ice just falls straight on my head. Nah, but yeah, we're excited. Oh, is so this the bar? I'll see you in a bit. is good man bro Matt they're filming us bro they're filming us while they're we're filming, filming you. they're filming everything bro oh we're filming this looks like a leaf <laughs> the golden ticket bangers <laughs> 